The Story of Master Confucius and Xiang Tuo, Part 12 of 13, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on March 10th, 2021. Being a supreme master and don't even know everything. But I told everybody, everybody knows that I don't know everything. Correct? Yes. yes. First of all, your brain has a limit. Second, you have limited time to do research on all this worldly knowledge and it keeps updating all the time. You know that, right? Yes. Even nowadays we have iPhones, but then the newer iPhone comes out and everybody <laughs> goes gaga <laughs> to get up. Even get up so early, two, three o'clock in the morning and queuing all night just to get the first whatever iPhone that's the newest one. Yeah? Yes. yes. And we still say, oh, my iPhone is outdated. Your phone is uh, old fashioned. <laughs> uh, blah, blah, blah. This phone doesn't have this up. Doesn't have this down. <laughs> uh, we forget to be grateful for what we have. Because in the old time, when I was in high school or something, the only people who could contact each other were in the government. You know, they have these kinds of long, complicated, big machines. And in the beginning, they could not even talk to each other. They have to use a, a Morse codes, yeah? Tick, 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 tack, tack, tick, tack, short, short, long, long, remember? Yes. Uh, and they use that in the army to contact each other. So when they are in the field and all that, they can help each other, okay? In time of uh, emergency, when they, they need more backup, yeah? More soldiers, more units to come and fight, etc., etc. Or before they use that for telegraphs, yeah, before that, we did not have telephone. We normal people did not have that kind of communication instrument, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I remember when I was in high school, I did not have anything like that. <laughs> At that time, I read some newspaper somewhere that say somebody predicted that in the future we can talk to each other long distance. And after that, somebody predicted again saying that in the future, you cannot just talk to each other, but you can even see each other. Yeah, and now we have that. You see? Yes. We have iPhones that we can Skype and talk to each other just like now. Huh? Yes. Yeah. So all these predictions came true. Hmm. Oh, wow. So now Confucius is in trouble. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. It's true what he said, the little boy, right? Yes. yes. Oh, he knew already in advance. He already prepared all these questions, I guess, before <laughs> Confucius came. That's why he built the clay citadel there waiting for him. Mm. Hmm? <laughs> I guess his parents were initiated. <laughs> and maybe forced him to get initiation from Confucius and he did not like it. <laughs> uh -huh, so he prepared all this for him. <laughs> now, Confucius feeling very, very uncomfortable. Yeah, very, uh, pup. Long tung lang sa Nervous, huh? No. Frustrated. Not just frustrated, no. Next. Long tung lang Oh, helpless. Something. Confused. Not confused, perplexed. Not that. You know how to search it? If you know it, you do it. Google, 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 Google. <laughs> Lucky we are between each other in the house. <laughs> all in house, otherwise people can see what you are doing. Say, ah, we thought the SMTV people were smart. <laughs> not, not against this little boy, no. I will also surrender. <laughs> I don't know all this kind of stuff. I still don't know a lot of stuff. Anyway, like embarrassed and uh, awkward. Okay, okay, yes. So Confucius felt very, very uh, awkward in front of this intelligent boy with all his uh, questions and answers. Oh, so Hang Tak continued. Sir, I may ask you <laughs> more? <laughs> Not waiting for the answer, he immediately <laughs> shoots. 
So why is the sun uh, in the morning big and at noon is smaller? Oh, Confucius. He answered too quick. He should have thought. He answered immediately. He said, ah, because in the morning, at dawn time, the sun is nearer to us. So Hang Tak grilled him. No, sir. <laughs> then why in the morning the air is cool? And at noon, when you say the sun is further from us, but the sun feels very hot. <laughs> the sun makes the air hot. So Confucius, guess what he did? Tell me. He gave up. Maybe he was speechless. Yeah, he signed a very long, long <laughs> sign. <sighs> <laughs> if it were me, I do the same. I do it in the beginning already. Don't let, <laughs> don't even wait until now when at the end, you know, he he's defeated time again and again like this. I would have signed already in the beginning. <laughs> After the boy answered all the questions already, he should have gone, yeah? <laughs> Turn away from the citadel, go on one side of the row and disappear. <laughs> <laughs> and saying something like, oh, I have a uh, group meditation to attend. <laughs> like I would say that. Yeah, I would. <laughs> Sorry, I'm busy. I have Supreme Master Television <laughs> to edit the shows. I have group meditation to attend. I have many disciples waiting for me. Oh, excuse me, sayonara. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that I don't lose more faith than I already did. <laughs> Never mind. Confucius, you have to understand that he is a scholar, a poet. Yeah, uh, he he wrote good poems, good uh, essays. Yeah, and he he is excellent in his spiritual attainment. Yeah, and all he wanted to do was to help the world to be enlightened, so that they have no more war with each other. They have no more killing of the animals or humans. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And that is his job, his mission at that time. I guess he did not have enough time to read other scientific, uh, how you say, research and uh, outcome, eh? Hmm? Uh, just like me now, I don't know everything. I know something when I have time to look. Even before uh, this uh, pandemic, I don't know how long, how many years, I don't even look at television. Only now and then when there's some good movies, yeah, very rare. Like Merlin, remember? Yes. Mm. We can watch it, some part of it together so that I can explain to you about Zen Tai Tuwa. Remember? Yes. yes. Yeah, like that. Otherwise, I don't even watch anything. I don't watch the news. Only when the pandemic came, I know I have to know, okay, in order to tell you what to do, okay, and to protect you and to protect many other people, as many as I can, whoever listens to me. Got that? Yes. Mm. And by the way, I came across many other news that are not favorable. And then, you know, in me, uh, when I see <laughs> things that are not uh, fair, not correct, I cannot just ignore it. Yes, yes. yes Even though I know it's, it's not very safe for me. Okay? Because you will always offend someone when you defend someone else. Mm. This is this world. Yes. 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 And it's not only one or two or someone else, but millions of someone else. In the case of America, for example. Yes. 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 Uh -huh. My fault, of course, I told you already. Hmm? I never blame anyone, <laughs> just myself. Yeah, I take care of too many things and worry about too many people. So, Confucius give a big, big, long sigh and turn around to his uh, retinue and disciples and told them, wow, the younger generations are truly praiseworthy. Yeah. But in some other printed story I read before, they say, oh, the younger generations are really to be feared. 
something like that. You know, how sinh khao ý á. Yeah. So never mind, it doesn't matter uh, either to be praiseworthy or I'll say scary <laughs> or fearsome is similar. He's, he's really felt humble and defeated. Yeah. So in order to know all this worldly knowledge, we should really observe well and uh, think through, you know. So all the things that he couldn't answer, he should have observed it more, yeah, and thinking it through. But of course, he did not uh, put attention too much into worldly knowledge. And these things have not much to do with spiritual practice and liberation. Thus, he did not study or research well. Yes. Yes. So in the, in the Tao Te Ching, it is also said that the wise seem like the ignorant. Yeah. The wise and the ignorant look similar. <laughs> seem like similar. Yes. They are wise in spiritual practice, in spiritual wisdom, in heavens, but they are not necessarily wise in worldly uh, knowledge. There's also a saying in India that if you have too much intellectual uh, knowledge, it will hinder your spiritual understanding. Maybe because you're too full in here, in your head. Or maybe because if you have too much worldly knowledge, you feel too, too proud, too arrogant, thinking nobody knows better. Yeah? Or you're too proud of your knowledge. Then you might not seek inside wisdom. Then you might lose your kingdom, which you could not find that easily. Yeah, you might not lose it, but meaning that you lose a chance to find your kingdom again, to find your spiritual splendor again. Yes, yes. Many of the highly accomplished in the world, they rarely seek a spiritual knowledge. Rarely, they come to the feet of any guru to learn something more than just the material aspect of life. Yeah, things they can see, things they can prove, things they can touch, things they can hear. You got that? Yeah? Yes. So very little of the highly intellectual people became spiritually uh, interested or became like uh, highly achieved spiritually. Okay, huh? Yeah. Yes. So uh, now we, you want to know what happened to the boy? Yes. Yes. yes, he left his physical body when he was 11 years old only. Wow. Four years after he met Master Confucius. Wow. And people um, in that area, they um, made a small memorial to uh, remember him and to pay respect to this genius. Hmm? They call him Youth Genius. Hmm. Yes. Okay, that's it. It's the end of the story. Yeah. Wow. We have only four, four or five stories up to date. And the book is long <laughs> and this is only the first book this is what we have we have done <laughs> missing one or two even. and this is what we have not done okay? yeah. good good like that yeah. and we have time to see each other okay yes, yes. yes because i think i told you everything that you can digest over the years and everything I think necessary, except something comes up urgently or suddenly like COVID-19. And I don't think I can tell you much because the higher heaven, you cannot describe. You can only experience it. Even if I can describe, how can you even, you know, digest it or imagine it? Yes, yes. yes.